Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel I'm Deirdre and I'm doing um, a series of October vlogs. It's really a Utober because it's all the things that you've asked me over the years about um, Melbourne, things you'd like to see, things you'd like me to do. Well I'm fitting some of them in in October, there'll be some left over I'm sure but we'll get to those. So today it was going to be nice, it's not um, I've just put on a, a puffy. It was about 22 overnight and now it's falling. So a few chilly days ahead, but it doesn't matter. So today I'm going down to the South Melbourne market to buy veggies and show you around. It's a great market and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I have done a rough meal plan, but for me that really just means Buddha bowl essentials are pretty easy to feed. Uh, and at the moment, I think I'm going to do some intermittent fasting, which just means that you wait till lunchtime to have your first meal of the day. And with that, the mower started up outside, so I will see you at the market. Remarkably, the gods have aligned, and I have found the car park with borderline relative ease. So, food haul it is. I've got my basket. Here we go. This is a really typical Australian or Melbourne market. Okay, and we're all plastic free, so I need my basket. Let's start with the good things in life. Cheeses. Wonderful cheeses. And, of course, pasta. And the delis are amazing. <laughs> Just the sheer variety. <laughs> this is what makes Australia special. We are a truly multicultural country. And as a result, we have truly multicultural food. Oh my god. Okay. That's a big fella. And then around here, fresh flour from. I used to go and fish for those. And horns. We are known for our horns. Beautiful pippies and live mussels. He's actually coming to start the bay where we are. Yesterday, the Morton Bay bugs are another. Crayfish. These are the ones, fresh swimmer crabs, the beautiful blue swimmer crabs. These are yabbies. These are the ones that used to live at the bottom of the dam. And here's green lip abalone, or I would call it palma. New Zealand palma is much bigger than that. And then all the incredible oysters. So to get the idea that I really like fresh seafood, fresh oysters. Oh. I know I can't cut myself as a vegetarian, can I? Not that I love that so much. Reaching 
I might get my custard heart. Custard heart, please. And here I am coming in here because this is where I'm going to be buying my fruit and veggies for the week. It's pretty good, isn't it? You could miss this. Everything is just leaping out. Right, I'm going in there to do some shopping. Well, I'm home and before I put all my veggies away, I thought I'd show you what I bought. Now, the total came to $44.75. So, uh, vegetables are not cheap in Australia, but this is the best quality and it's not the highest price. So, it's, it's a good place to shop. So, what have I got? Two green capsicum, um, that was $4.28. Two red they were $3.52. The spring onions here, uh, they were $2. Um, the cherry tomatoes, $3.99, I think it was that one. Two lots of baby bok choy, well, two lots of baby bok choy, um, they were $1.75 each. Um, these are new season artichokes. Artichokes are amazing, I love them. Who could not love that? This is the most architectural fruit. Uh, so new season artichokes were two dollars each, so that's four dollars. I just bought a couple of red onions, just because I only use sort of a half or a quarter at a time. I bought some bananas; they were um, three dollars. I bought two of the large avocados, and they were um, so that's five fifty. They're two dollars seventy five each. That's quite expensive, I know, but it's just the way it is. I bought two bunches of asparagus. Yes, there are two there. Um, they were $1.50 each. Uh, the celery, what was that? The celery was $2. The strawberries were $2.50 each, so that's two for $5. And oh, these little cherry tomatoes, so these ones were, what did I say those ones were? Uh, they were $4, and these ones are also $4. So there we go, that's quite a lot of vegetables and food, and I love things like baby bok choy. I'll just steam some of this tonight and make a big salad bowl. I've just made some, uh, made, I've just cooked a sweet potato in the microwave, which is a quick and easy way to cook it. And then I'll do some rice and make up some nice fresh veggies. Uh, oh, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the trip around the South Melbourne market. Um, it's a fairly standard market here in Melbourne in Australia. So I'm sorry for all those local people who you know, we know what our markets are like, we know how much we enjoy them, and we've got quite a lot of them, so we're very spoilt for beautiful food. It's a big thing here. Uh, there we also have really good farmer's markets, so I'll take you to one of those. God, my arm's hurting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera. Isn't that dreadful? It's I'm getting weak in my old age. No, I'm not. I've been carrying, I was trying to carry something, and I've got a bit of a sore back. Um, but yeah, so I will be back tomorrow. Not sure what, with yet, we'll see. But if you would like to come along, I hope that you'll subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because you just have to do that these days. And share with family and friends. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a lovely day. And I will see you soon. Bye.